breakfast. Look at this. Bagel, fruit, and muffin for my little muffin. You okay, honey? Hi, honey. She said, Daddy said I have to eat my fruit first. Yes, she has to eat her fruit first. And then... She's watching. That's like... Elf something or other. She's so zoned out right now. Yeah. Elf! Oh. Good morning. We are home now. This morning we actually went to um, Donuts with Santa at Top That Donuts in Point Pleasant Beach, which if you've never been there, their donuts are so good. You can go and like decorate your own donut, um, like tell them what toppings you want. They have tons of their own toppings. So good. But it was like the cutest thing ever. So I'll pop up some pictures of that and videos because it was so much fun. Can you let your husband dress your daughter? She is, always looks beautiful. This just cracks me up. We're going to breakfast with Santa. Honey, say hi to the camera. Oh my goodness. sweatshirt on in the last vlog too but honestly we just had a rough couple of days i think i mentioned in my last vlog that my mother-in-law was in the hospital she's home now doing good so it was just kind of a scare um and then ava came down with something she had a fever so she was home so it's just been kind of a whirlwind but everyone seems to be doing okay now what's wrong you want mama to open that there you go babe thanks mom you're welcome um, so now we're just gonna have a day at home. I might try to wrap some presents. We'll see, that depends on her. And I did get this package from Sugarberry. It's vegan leather. Um, someone on Instagram was like, you need to send Janie one. Oh, how cute is this? Oh my gosh, I love that. This is freaking beautiful. I might use this as my bag right now. That is so cute. I love that. That was so nice. That's sugar berry. I think I really think I'm gonna start using that as like my purse for right now. But yeah, I need to eat something. Dave just ran to Bubba Coos to get some food and I have a recipe I wanna make tonight. So we're just gonna have like a cozy, a cozy day in. And then tomorrow we're seeing, doing brunch with Santa. Lots of Santa activities. Oh shoot, I just took the garbage out, I need to. I'm gonna, I think today I'm gonna do like my Saturday reset and start cleaning and disinfecting the house. This is the cutest thing. Daddy, this, you're gonna pay this me down. Oh, it dropped. What a good daddy. Daddy, doy, chicken, and buddy. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to make this cheesy dough for me. Frozen.
now. Mom, I have a snack stack to my hand. Here we go. That's it? You don't think they're incredible? Oh. I know. I thought it was so good. Mom. Dave just got me this advent calendar. So I figured it'd be fun to open up together because we're on day number 11. So we have lots to open up. Kind of hoping there's like a red lipstick somewhere in here. What is this? I already opened one and two. This is the Macy's one. Butter? Never even heard of that brand. Hmm. Vitamin C serum. I love to save the little ones for like traveling. Number 14. Vino Perfect. What is this? Oh, wait. Brightening eye cream. I actually don't even have an eye cream right now. Ooh, I used to love this. The Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm definitely gonna keep this because I have lashes on now, but I'm gonna keep that for when my lashes don't break. My hair is like flipping out. I need to just throw it up today. Oh, this is definitely philosophy. I love philosophy stuff. Grace, firming body emulsion. Does that mean body lotion? <laughs> Can't they just name things simple? I'm guessing that means body. This looks like, this looks like body lotion. It's either body lotion or, um, yeah. It smells good too. Give me anything that firms. My mom like loves our stuff too. Number seven. Ooh, this is a perfume. Very good girl perfume. This is like a decent bowl. We'll see when we open it. How cute. I feel like my mom literally gave me this exact perfume. Ooh. I'm very picky with perfumes. I'm more of a body spray girl. But this smells, this isn't the one my mom gave me. Cause I didn't like that one. And I don't think it was pink in the inside. Wow. I love the way that smells. Oh my gosh. So it's good girl, Carolina here. That smells so good. I'm gonna keep the box so I can remember that. Eat. Ooh, a Clinique King. I hope this is makeup balm. Moisture Surge. Okay. This is a moisturizer. These are great too when you like travel. I love having these. Number nine. What is today? Is today the, oh, today's the 11th. Some of these are hard to open. My hands are all like chopped up from <laughs> wrapping presents yesterday. <gasps> yes, this I love. The Elma's Cleansing Balm. Love, love, love this one. And this is perfect to take on vacations. Not that we're going anywhere, but still. Number 10, Waterproof Liquid Liner. And then, oh, good jeans. I feel like I had this or my mom gave me this. My mom always gets, I don't know what she gets, that she gets samples all the time. This is definitely a cute one. I'm like obsessed with this scent. I prefer the perfumes that spray. I don't know if the big bottle maybe sprays, but like that's a decent sample size. I'm gonna look that one up because I've been looking for a good perfume and it's light, like it's light and it's like, do they describe it? Of course not, not on this one. It's like a hint of sweet, like not overly sweet, but not overly floral. I don't know what that is. That's a really nice scent. I'm gonna look that one up. All right, now, so today I have to go to my accountant. I'm not gonna take you in on that because all this is still new to me and we have an accountant right now and I just told Dave, well, I'm going to a new account, accountant to talk to them because I just told Dave, like I worked in the hair salon for years and I just, knew my 1099, then when we got married, like we just filed together. I didn't really like think too much about taxes. I was just like, this is what I do. But now that I'm like a business owner, I do social media, content creating and all this stuff. There's just a lot of other things that go into it. And I just wanna be like informed. Like I didn't even know I had to put aside money for taxes. So like this year, I found that out last minute. So like I've been squirreling away money for taxes at the end of the year, but like, I went to the accountant that we normally use and I just felt like almost like he didn't think, I don't know, 
like, oh, I usually do this with your husband. And I'm not saying he's like that, but like, I don't know. I had so many questions and I just feel like he kind of like brushed me off. And then I was just like, well, like what things are write-offs, what are not write-offs? What, how much should I be saving up for tax at the end of the year? Can I pay quarterly? Can I not? Like, is an LLC the best? Like just all these like random questions that like, I don't know anything about this stuff. So I just wanted to know. And he was just like, kind of was like, oh, I can give you the name of a financial advisor. But I'm like, as my tax accountant, like, can't you answer some of these? I don't know. And like, I guess he finally called Dave when we submitted and he was like, oh, your wife actually brings in money. And I was like, uh, yeah, like, I don't know if that's exactly how he said it. But he's like, yeah, I need this, this and this from her. And I'm like, all right, now it's December. Like, I went back to you. I went to him in before the summertime. And I was like, I was trying to be proactive and just figure, like, I don't know. I just didn't like that he didn't take the time to like explain anything to me. And I really felt like everything was just brushed off. And it was just like, oh, just deal with your husband. And I'm like, no, I want to be informed. And like, no, I have questions. Like, I want to know what I need to do. So long story short, where I'm meeting with another accountant that a couple of people recommended to me just to talk about things. Just because I know like the industry that I'm in like content creators, this is all new, this is weird. Like, so I need someone that's more informed on it and things like that. And maybe he wasn't, maybe that's just not his area of expertise, but I also want someone that's gonna take the time. Like I know an accountant's not gonna like break everything down for me, but like I want someone that's gonna take the time and talk to me and go over these things so I could be knowledgeable too and not feel like an idiot when I go into things. Cause I left him feeling like an idiot. I was like, oh my God, like I just didn't feel like, I don't know. I don't know. So I have that today and I just got groceries cause I'm meal prepping. Like I am making, I'm not even meal prepping. I'm making a weekly menu this week and I, we need to eat better. Like I just feel like garbage. So <laughs> I just went um, this morning. Oh, I got Botox literally just this morning. So you won't see the results. And she was like, Oh, you look like you're losing weight. And she was like, you look good. And I was just like, I don't feel good though. Like even if I may have lost a couple of pounds, which I honestly didn't. Maybe since I last saw her. And also like my swelling um, from my tummy tuck like went down cause I haven't seen them in a while. Um, but I was just like, I just don't feel good though. Like even if I look like that, I'm telling you right now, like my body, my digestion hasn't been good. Like I've just been eating like garbage and I really need to I need meals, like I need meals, I need vegetables. I wanna start doing family dinners, which we don't do, so. Sorry, this is a long chit chat, all right. I'm also trying to drink that water. I've been very bad with water and way too good with Diet Coke. Um, got these crackers, they were on sale. I just think crackers and dipped are bomb, but they're actually gluten free. We have tums of hummus right now, so I figured that would be good. What? Oh, it's my garbage, oh, it smells like yogurt. These dumplings, Ava loves these. I think, yeah, the ingredients are really good on these too. Wait, one pound, oh, that's a sauce. I was like, what? They're so good for like an easy, and it's chicken and vegetables, at least your kids are getting vegetables. Ava's obsessed with these. They're the fruit and veggie pouches, and the ingredients are really good on them. So I'm like, hey, if you wanna eat those daily, go ahead. Egg whites, I have no egg whites. I could have any time to put this away because I have to have the food for the time. Veggies. I got this last time. This was really good. I figured, like, I'm trying to really keep easy things on hand that I don't have to prep. Just because sometimes when things get busy, I like things that we could grab. This, my son requested I get this. I got this. I usually make it in the pan. I think this is what I got. He loved this last time. Oh, no. It was supposed to come with mashed potatoes because that over mashed potatoes is so good. Then I got my son this. Well, pretty much everyone, but he's been really into smoothies lately. And this has, I figured even for my daughter, these packs are really good. They just have everything in it already. So that's something easy. My daughter loves Pirate's Booty. It's like sick. Beauty bags, they didn't do the mashed potato. Dang it. I did not realize this thing was humongous. <laughs> Whoa, bananas. I'm so mad, I forgot to mash the meat. Big thing of broccoli. Broccoli's like the one veggie that we all like. Um, eggs. I cannot believe that. And then these cliff bars. These are the kids' ones. Oh wait, yeah, cliff kid bars. 
these are the kids ones and these ingredients are really good because even with the kids like I want to start being mindful of what I'm feeding them like I just have been making bad choices all around and like that's not fair to my kids because I'm the one doing it for them like I'm the one shopping and stuff so I need to have healthy things in the house and then I got these the popcorners I was just reading the ingredients these are pretty good too like they're not as bad as others so yeah I just want to like for my own sanity like I definitely need to be like I don't know I feel bad like I'm the one doing all the food shopping so I should really be reading ingredient labels not buying so many processed things because I'm just setting them up for failure so I'm gonna put this away really quick and then I have to go to the accountant I just left the accountant why did my car turn on um well I left the accountant then I ran to stop and shop to get mashed potatoes for dinner tonight because it's just a must with that pot roast. Uh, but I loved the new accountant so much. He was so nice, so helpful. Like, I felt like he really answered all of my questions. So that was great. It is freezing outside. Like, it said it was supposed to be 57 today. It's like, it's 40 degrees and it's so windy. Um, It's just like one of those colds that like go into your bones. Like, it's so cold out. So yeah. Now I'm going to go home and we're really going to try our best to do family dinner. So tonight's going to be the kickoff. We do them here and there where we all sit down. But I feel like what happened was with sports, we really got off of everything. Like with football, which started in July because the boys practice from 6 to 8. Is it 6 to 8 or maybe it was 5 to 7? I can't remember now. No, maybe it was 5 to 7. And so you have to eat dinner at like four. I can't remember now what time it is, but like, so we're eating in shifts cause they're eating before. And then like, I'm not hungry at four o'clock. So me and Dave were eating and then they will come home and they would still be hungry. So like, we just fell off schedule. So yeah, so now I'm like, we need to get back on track. Watch as soon as we finally get into swing things and football starts again, whatever. So yeah, so we're gonna make a dinner tonight it's gonna be good tonight's easy but I just finished like while I was like waiting in between things I did my whole like weekly menu in my phone so that was good so now I can't like I I have to go get Ava too but it's so freaking cold I need to drop this stuff off at home and then I'm gonna go pick her up and then in that time it'll be time to make dinner got some packages this one is for Ava's teacher I actually ordered two I think I or I hope I ordered two I know I did because I placed the order together because she has two teachers um I don't know why I only came the one maybe the other one is it but I got her I never even see oh, this color so pretty so pretty Wow, I actually, I didn't think I was gonna like that as much as I do. Okay, and then this. No clue what this is. I feel like this isn't thick enough to be. Oh, it's her brand. This is the Skyless Frames. They're really cool though. They're like frames that you can upload pictures in right away. And I believe they're on Amazon. I want to say they're like on Amazon. So this is what the frame looks like, but you can upload, like it's like a digital frame, but you can gift this to someone and then you could upload pictures on it for them. So like if you gift it to like your mom or a grandma or something, and like you want it, instead of sending a picture to the phone, you could send a picture that will just come right up on this frame, which I think that's like such a neat idea. So I'm gonna look at that. I just love that. Um, Get that all charged and set up. And then that's so weird that Stanley only sent me one.